Hi there. So this one came up this week from a customer inquiry. Can Nintex's RPA application uh, populate SharePoint online list items from Excel data? The use case was project data that lives in an Excel spreadsheet. And normally it's a process of uh, a person actually filling in SharePoint instances. And I thought we could probably do this a couple of ways. Uh, there's probably definitely ways we can do this with things like PowerShell. We could direct the targeter to open up a specific website, navigate to the location, uh, and then actually create an item that way. But I'm sure there's a no code way of doing it quite easily. And it got me to thinking about Nintex RPA and Nintex Workflow Cloud. So without further ado, let's have a go. So I'm in Nintex RPA. Uh, all I've done so far is I've actually imported the Excel spreadsheet. So this is just my test sheet here. Really, really easy to do. Uh, and rather than actually going through a set of instances or rows within a spreadsheet, um, you can actually create data within that bot flow project by dragging and dropping that Excel spreadsheet and dropping it into the actual job. So I've got my, my list in there, my, my fields that correspond to my columns and I wanna get this information into SharePoint Online. Now, obviously most Excel spreadsheets would be a good bit bigger than this. So uh, let's just have a look at how we can do this. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna to connect to my Nintex Workflow Cloud instance. That's easy, just adding a workflow, get the personal access token from settings and add that in. What that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to use that run workflow action in uh, Nintex RPA, but I am going to need a Nintex Workflow Cloud Workflow first and foremost. So let's have a look at that. I've got my SharePoint Online list created already. It's just a title with a number of uh, single line text, but it's going to accept all sorts of different variable types to come in there. But this is my test list that I want to populate as we go through. So I need a start event in Nintex Workflow Cloud, and that's gonna be a component workflow that's gonna allow Nintex RPA to reference this workflow. And I'm gonna need some start event variables. So we'll just replicate the ones that we've got in that SharePoint list. Variables that RPA is gonna pass into workflow, the start event variables that workflow will accept. And one single action, I mean, you could do tasks as part of this to review the data before it goes in. Uh, you could do document generation to create a document from the, the tail end of the RPA information. You could even use an in-text gateway to loop back to that Excel spreadsheet and populate maybe a success metric, or as we see from the, the SharePoint create item, action that we're going to drag in, SharePoint actually gives me an item ID in return. So I could then populate that Excel spreadsheet with the item ID or the item URL. So you got some choice. So I'm going to grab the URL for my uh, specific SharePoint list that I want to populate and then click on the tick. That's going to give me this introspection to all the list names in here. So my list is called test. And I'm going to add some fields. So title is mandatory. Uh, let's just, what I'll do is I'll just grab all of the text fields and create a, a one long title. And then I'll add those individual columns. So these are my SharePoint columns. Text one, two, three, four, and five. Let's just add those in. So, and then just matching up the start event variables with the underlying SharePoint columns in that create item. And as we say, SharePoint's gonna return me an item ID and an item URL. If I wanted to, I could then loop that back to populate that same Excel spreadsheet using the Nintex RPA gateway. We're not gonna do that in this demo, but I could start that RPA job to actually pass these same variables or that new variable from SharePoint back to the Excel spreadsheet. In this instance, this is all we wanna do. So we're just gonna publish. Give my workflow name, RPA to SharePoint, and publish the workflow. So that workflow has been published. We're now ready to build the bot. So let's just open up 
RP, name text RPA. It should be fairly straightforward. We could do a couple of things here. What I might just do is quickly resize the bot so that we can have SharePoint Online open at the same time in the same screen. So let's just resize the bot to the bottom half of the screen. And then we're gonna call workflow or run workflow. So because I've connected that personal access token to that Mintex Workflow Cloud environment, my list of workflows should be here and it was called RPA to SP. And it's given me all that start data. So these are my start event variables that we created. So we're just gonna match these up. Okay, and it's as simple as that. So we're gonna run this bot flow now to resize itself, grab the information which has already been imported in as data into the actual bot flow project here. And we're gonna populate SharePoint Online by calling an Intex Workflow Cloud instance. So let's just go back to the start and quick run. So that should have ran. So what we can do is check our instances tab or we can simply refresh SharePoint Online. And there we go. We've got my hello, this is a test which has been taken from imported data from Excel into RPA and passed up to SharePoint Online by an Intex Workflow Cloud.